Hello everyone, I'm Detective Brandy George with the Mesa Police Department. This critical incident community briefing will provide you with information about an officer involved shooting that occurred here in Mesa. You are about to see relevant video footage and learn about evidence and police procedures related to this case so you can better understand what happened based on what we know right now. Mesa Police Department conducts thorough use of force investigations. Typically, investigators interview multiple witnesses, view numerous hours of video footage, and analyze a significant amount of forensic evidence. These investigations take time to complete, which means things could change as additional evidence is collected, analyzed, and reviewed. This video will not draw any conclusions about whether these officers acted consistent with our policy until all the facts are known and the investigation is complete. In this video, we will be sharing our officers' body-worn camera videos, as well as 911 calls and any other surveillance video obtained as part of this investigation. We do want to warn you, anytime a police officer uses force, the images and information can be graphic disturbing and difficult to watch, and the video may contain strong language. Viewer discretion is strongly advised, especially for young children and sensitive viewers. I'm Sergeant Jason Tra. Just after 8 p.m. on March 25th, 2021, Mesa Police Bike Unit officers attempted to stop a man who was riding a bicycle without proper lighting. As officers attempted the traffic stop, the man, later identified as 27-year-old Joseph Diamond, dropped his bike and took off running. Here is body-worn camera video of the attempted traffic stop. A foot pursuit ensued, and while running, Joseph Diamond pointed what looked to be a silver revolver at the officers. That's when one officer fired his duty weapon. Diamond was not hit and ran into a mobile home park at 951 West Main Street. Officers lost sight of him and continued to search the area. Hey, get back! Get back! He's got a gun! Get back! Extra 42, 1021 West Main. Let's go ahead and get the uh, east side covered. That's where he last ran. We're on the southwest side right now. Just before 10 p.m., neighbors called 911 to report that a man was trying to get into their unit. Officers spotted Mr. Diamond walking away from that unit and another foot pursuit began. Yeah, and just a minute, stop okay. right there. Hands on his head. Put your hands on top hey, of your head. Yeah, somebody go with Harris, I agree. Turn around and face okay. away from us. Okay. Okay. Officers fired a less lethal beanbag round, which struck Mr. Diamond, and they were able to take him into custody. During the investigation, it was discovered that the weapon Mr. Diamond pointed was a flare gun wrapped in silver duct tape. Joseph Diamond is charged with aggravated assault, threatening and intimidating, possession of dangerous drugs, trespassing, and false reporting. The officer who fired his duty weapon has been a Mesa officer for three years. This is his first officer-involved shooting. This investigation is being turned over to the Maricopa County Attorney's Office for review. Thank you for taking the time to watch this critical incident community briefing.